It's the middle of August. Seems like the perfect time to talk about potassium. My name is Brian Mounts. I run TurfMechanic.com and this Turf Mechanic YouTube channel. I educate people every day over on my website and here on the YouTube channel about doing things in the yard, in the lawn, on your own. Certainly there are companies out there that you can pay to do a lot of this stuff for you. You don't need to know a lot of this stuff, but it is awful nice to know, especially if you want to do it yourself. Now, every single bag of fertilizer that you're gonna find for the lawn, and even in the garden, is gonna have three numbers on it. You got, you got N, P, K. Okay, so K is potassium. Potassium for fertilizers tends to come from potash, which is mined out of a number of places across the world. One major one is up north in Canada. Uh, you can go ahead and Google that if you want, but potash is what they call it, and it is basically a potassium source for lawns and gardens and other kinds of plants. It's what we use in the lawn. This is a very popular organic fertilizer that people all across the country have been using for a number of years now. Uh, this is Melorganite. This is... This has right here, if you can see that, it's got the numbers 640 stamped on it. Basically, this has 0% potassium in it. There's no potash of any kind. There's no potassium of any kind. Um, people put this on their lawns, and, and the lawns look pretty good. Um, so why do you need it? Well, potassium doesn't make the leaves look much different. That's why. Uh, nitrogen makes those leaves grow big and green and tall. Phosphorus, the middle number, it basically stimulates root growth. It's, it's healthy for the roots. The potassium is kind of like the immune system. It's like the immune system for your grass. If you have potassium in the grass, then the grass is healthier. It's not necessarily going to look different, but it will be healthier and it'll be more able to resist um, disease, fungus, drought, extreme cold, extreme heat, lots of foot traffic. Basically, the potassium is going to increase the immune system, if you'll allow me to use that word and just keep up the, the, uh, the analogy here. Now, how does it do that? Think about the cellular walls of all of the cells in your grass. Think of those like the two by fours that frame your house. Now imagine if you took, your you took the two by fours in the walls of your house and say you swapped them out for one by threes. Like that would really make your house weak. Let's take those two by fours and let's swap them out for like, I don't know, two by sixes or you know, something even bigger. I don't know, like posts, like four by four, six by sixes. Just imagine the, the extra strength that would exist in the walls of your house if you did that. Adding potassium to your lawn care regimen is going to strengthen the frame of every cell that's in your grass, whether it be the leaf blade or the root system or the rhizomes or any of those things that make grass grass, they're going to be stronger if they've got adequate potassium in them. Now, Lots of fertilizers don't include potassium. It's kind of a special product, even though it's a macronutrient. There now, there are lots of, don't get me wrong, there are lots of kind of all-purpose lawn fertilizers that include potassium, but you're gonna find, as I show you here, in specialty products, you're gonna see that potassium is kind of the main ingredient. Both of these products are uh, from two completely different companies, and they're both uh, billed as kind of the same thing. This is uh, from Simple Plant Food. This is their simple aeration product. They call it a soil builder. This is from the next line of products. This is called Aerate. Um, both of these products, they uh, describe them as liquid aeration. So in, as opposed to taking like a mechanical aerator and like you know, punching cores into your lawn to help aerate the lawn. These products are supposed to aerate your lawn without actually punching holes or cores into it. Now, how do they do that? 
I don't really know, but I do know from looking at the label that these both are potash based. Um, from Simple Plant Food, uh, this is an 8% potash solution, and it also comes with 6% humic acid. So let's say 8% potash, 6% humic acid. From the next line, this is 5% potash and 8% humic acid. Let's combine those numbers. 8 and 5 is 13%. 8 and 6 is 14%. So you got 13% and 14% of a mix of humic and potassium. Well, why is that? Why are, they this, why, why are they using the same ingredients? The reason for that is the potassium goes into the plant and it allows the plant to uptake nutrients and water more efficiently. Humic acid does the same thing. So if you look at the humic, humic acid here, you got 6% and you got, what was this? 8%, whatever it was, yeah, 8%. Humic acid does the same thing. Humic acid allows for plants to uptake nutrients and water more efficiently. Basically, potash and humic acid kind of do about the same thing, except for the humic doesn't really quite go into the plant like a nutrient does and affect the cellular structure. Um, but they both help nutrient uptake. When you start talking about potassium as a beneficial macronutrient for your grass, you're basically looking to add something to your plant, to your grass, that is going to make the grass stronger, more resistant to disease and fungus and general wear and tear, cold and heat and drought and all of that business. You're gonna make the grass stronger and you're going to make the grass uptake water and nutrients more efficiently. So that means you don't have to put heavy nitrogen-based fertilizers down because you can put just a regular one or a smaller dose. And that plant will pull that nitrogen out of the soil just the same or even better than if you didn't apply products like this. These are concentrates. I mean, they both say it right there on the label. They're concentrates. So if you're applying something like this to the lawn, the risk is, oh, well, what if I put too much humic acid and too much potassium on my lawn? Luckily for us homeowners, that risk isn't something that we need to worry about. Potassium isn't generally considered a ground contaminant or a water contaminant, and it's almost impossible in a residential setting to over apply potassium or humic acid to your lawn. So getting special fertilizers that contain no nitrogen and no phosphorus, but only potassium is a great thing. This is really helpful for us who live in houses who wanna do all of this ourselves, but we don't wanna damage our yard, our lawn, the environment, our kids or our animals. I would be not serving you if I didn't tell you this extra little nugget. Most lawns fall into the slightly acidic range. I should say most soil in the lawns. 6.5 on the pH scale is a pretty normal and nice number to have. Now, if you were to go out there and do a soil test on your lawn and find yourself sitting at 6.5, you'd be great. But let's say it comes back at 6.1. That is actually a little bit too acidic for most grass types. Most grass types need to be kind of in that mid six range and if they're not, if they're too acidic at that number, that pH scale is too low, then the grass root system is not going to uptake nutrients correctly. And of course, the, the worse the problem gets, then the worse the nutrient uptake gets, and then eventually your grass starts dying. Obviously, if you have grass, it's not that bad, but it's probably not that great if you are kind of in that in-between zone. So what I recommend is doing a soil test. Over on my website, uh, turfmechanic.com slash soil test. Um, you can also just Google it um, or check the link below. Eventually I'll put it there. Um, I am comparing soil tests of all of the main manufacturers of soil tests. Um, some of the most popular ones out there. Make sure to check that out. Choose one, I'll give you a recommendation eventually. I'm not ready to do that in this video, but 
Um, do a soil test. If your soil comes in too acidic, then applying anything really doesn't matter all that much because that grass isn't prepared to uptake it. So even if you were to add, I mean, not this, but if, even if you were to add a potassium-based fertilizer, your grass isn't really going to pull that up very well either. You kind of need to get the pH in line first. The most common household product to put down uh, on a lawn to solve a acidic soil situation um, is lime. There's a couple different kinds of lime. It doesn't really matter which one you use. I prefer to use a granular uh, lime as opposed to a um, powder. Uh, powders will definitely work faster, but they're just harder to spread. So uh, if you put a granular in there and water it in good and wait some time because it takes a while for that to really like get into the soil, that will slowly improve the pH situation in your lawn. And once your pH is more in line with what it should be, using products that are emphasizing their potash or their potassium uh, content are going to basically make your lawn get a little bit healthier and use the nutrients that are already there. And in fact, when you use products like this on your lawn, it will actually start getting healthier. Like it will start greening up and growing all on its own simply because the nutrients that are currently there, that are currently unavailable, will suddenly become available to that grass and will go into the grass and then the grass will start responding to it for the first time in who knows how long. If you are in a situation where you don't want to fertilize or you can't fertilize your lawn, then potash is, eh, you know, it might work. You might be able to use it, but it's, it's fertilizing. Um, so one option for you is using humic acid. Humic acid is going to do a lot of the same thing that potassium is going to do, uh, minus like the cellular structural, you know, benefits. Um, but if you can throw on a little bit of extra potassium, then your lawn is going to do great and you won't have to apply the nitrogen and phosphorus um, at all, um, or at least not as often or in such great quantities. Anyway, um, I have lots of videos about this, about grass, about cutting the grass and tending to the lawn, getting it all done. Um, head over to the website, I've got it all linked below. Um, there's a full post that's more structured um, than this on potassium. I hope you take a look at that. Hit the like button if this is helpful. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your summer.